Ugh. So we all know about Kaguya-sama Love is War by now, right? I mean, how could you not when this bitch is shoved down your throat every fucking second? No, but Chika is a great girl and should always be loved and protected. If you are smart, you already would have watched this series. If you are even smarter, you would have adored this show. If you couldn't have guessed, I love this show. The anime characters have such great personalities, they're all so bright and each is very different from each other, and it's not always just some boring, bland anime character talking without showing what type of silly personality they have. And the animation is always, it's so sakuga, like each frame is done so beautifully that it's, it's kind of like a work of art. It's a masterpiece on its own in each frame, like a million and ten masterpieces. And the music, ugh! Don't even get me started on the music, or get me started because this will, video will be even longer then. Mr. Hey, Miss! But even though right now I'm saying I love this series, I really didn't used to. The moment Gart told me to watch this series when it first came out, I was very wary because I had read the manga a long time ago. I had only read a few chapters of the manga, of it, like a few years back, and... <sighs> It was boring. It was a very boring manga, which is why I only read a few chapters. Now, Sydney, you're probably saying to me on Twitter, how could you insult a manga but like the anime? Well, listen up, motherfucker, because I'm about to get into it! It's boring, but it's by no means a bad manga. But the reasons for me saying that it's boring was just the lack of... The, there was something missing in the series as you read it, and you could just tell right from the first few pages that it's not bad, but it's missing a certain something to make it good. What it needed most in the manga was something to bring it to life. When I say it's brought to life in the anime, I don't just mean in animation form, of course. The jokes in the manga are the same like the anime, of course, as it is the source material, but both portray the jokes very differently. The manga's jokes are heavily text-based and can be hard to focus on what with the amount of text and panels being thrown at you that after a while it just feels like too much work to enjoy. Where in the anime, not only are the jokes better suited to being told aloud, but the anime also adds its own heavy quirks on the jokes and characters by making them so fucking extra due to the direction of the anime. Which adds so much more effect on the jokes and how extreme the characters are. It doesn't matter how the joke is written, but it matters how it is delivered. In the manga, besides it being boring, the characters weren't nearly as interesting as they are in the anime. It was just a constant back and forth, which is pretty infuriating to just read back and forth. I mean, in the beginning, it's kind of like, oh, okay, this is cool. It's kind of like when you read Death Note, the manga, where it's literally just tons of tons of volumes of characters like Light and L, just like, huh, you think I, you got me? Well, I got you. Oh, you, uh, oh, you, you think you got me? Well, I got you, buddy. Oh, you think? So as you can guess, after a while, it gets a bit too repetitive with no other redeeming qualities. I mean, they still do the clever sort of thought process pretty well within the manga, but it's, it's not as interesting. They also don't have the opening in the manga, of course. So what's the even point of fucking reading it? Hey, mister! Everything compiled together made it seem so much more easy to watch and enjoy. The anime gave the necessary components for this series needed to make this series funny that obviously the manga couldn't give. Like, for example, the K-On! manga isn't nearly as nice as the anime, and that's because in the anime, it gave it what it was about, music. But both are bad, admittedly, so what's the point in comparing? The question may be crossing your mind right now as to why this manga in particular is losing to its anime counterpart. What makes this one so special to mention when there are dozens of manga turn anime series out there? Shouldn't all anime series be like this towards its original manga? Yes and no. Usually, anime only adds a surface-level understanding of its source material, and most of the time, doesn't add anything special to its anime series that the manga couldn't do on its own. No character development in the anime? 
most likely there would be in the manga. Direction and writing in the anime isn't well done and leaves you confused? Not likely to happen in the manga. The reason I'm mentioning this series in particular is because this is one of those special occasions where a company takes a source material and makes it better. It's like saying a movie is better than the book. That rarely happens, right? Right now, Kaguya-sama is nearing the end of its airing time due to the season ending, so please watch it. Even if you have to wait till it's finished, watch it, all of it. It's a pretty binge-worthy show, admittedly, just because it's so funny and relaxing. You enjoy the characters, you enjoy the situations, the cleverness, the voice acting by far is def it's very well done. So if you are ever looking for a comedic, relaxing, just really all around great anime to sit down and watch and make you stop feeling like you hate yourself, this is the one for you, buddy. And that's the tea. And even though it pains me to admit that the anime finally did something better than the manga, I am willing to admit it because I would admit to anything for Kaguya-sama except for saying k is a good series. But yeah, thank you guys again for watching and to the four or so people that have made it this far, thank you. You guys are the bee's knees. <laughs> and I love you unconditionally. Never change, you have made your dad proud.